Hi, welcome back to the channel. This is Blitz944, and today we're looking at a World War II SS belt buckle. And why are we doing this, Alex? Because it was requested by one of our viewers called John Scott. So John Scott requested we do an SS belt buckle video. I mean, we obviously we did let him know, obviously, and he, he is fine with that. But we only had the one SS belt buckle, yeah. so um, we can't do a whole video about SS belt buckles. Um, I personally, I don't. I mean, I haven't got many. I've only got the one, um, just to have an example in the collection. I collect more army stuff anyway, don't I, here, yeah? Yeah. Um, and also, they're very expensive now, SS belt buckles, aren't they? Yeah. Well, anything SS is expensive, to be honest with you. Um, they're like ridiculous price now, stuff. Yeah. And my advice is, if you are going to go into collecting SS belt buckles, yeah, it's another, like, research, research, research thing, isn't it, you know? Yeah. Really get to know the buckles. There's so many, fa I mean, even this Rodo one we're looking at here, right, I th there's so many fakes of it. It's like ridiculous. I mean, none of them are quite right yet, luckily. So we're going to point out some of the bits of how they're different. Yeah, the fakes are the originals. Yeah. But anyway, let's look at this buckle. So this is a Rodo buckle. Yeah. Yeah, they were originally, you'll see in the back actually, they were quite famous because they were, they were painted like a green colour, weren't they? Yeah. yeah like feel grey, like a green, but like a green, real sort of green colour tone, weren't they? Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> it's made of steel, obviously, this one. And uh, yeah, they're very, in the collector's circles, um, Rodo buckles are very collectible, aren't they? Yeah. I think they're one of the most collectible SS buckles, yeah? Yeah. I like it. It's a nice, it's a nice um, combat used one, let's say. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. got all the paint's worn off, but it's still got a nice detail to the eagle. Um, first of all, Alex, so this is what they call a Type 1. So yeah. can you just bring it a bit closer, Alex, to the to the camera? There we go. Right, that's it. About that. There we go. Thank you. That's brilliant. So if you can see there, so this is what they call a Type 1. Let me show a bit of the detail there. There is a, what they call a Type 2 as well. It's only what collectors call them. Obviously, it wasn't during the war. It was just a buckle, yeah? Um, on the left-hand wing there, you can see a bit of rope that goes from the this from the bit of wing to the, the rear of the head, can't you? Yeah, yeah, you can. On the Type 2, that bit of rope carries on through to the other side and touches the other wing, okay? i put it back now, Alex. It's fine, yeah. So that is one of the main differences between the Type 1 and the Type 2. There is other, some, some other variations, but that's one of the main ones, Yeah. yeah. But we're going to really concentrate on the one we've got today, which is the Type 1 Rodo Buckle. Yeah. yeah. So actually, just bring it back one more time. Let's have a look at a bit more of that detail, Alex, can we? So you can really get a good look at the detail of the original buckle. When I mean, this one is worn, obviously, it has been used quite heavily, hasn't it? Yeah? Yeah. But it's still a nice buckle for the collection. Okay, well, hmm. can you turn that round now, Alex, for us? Yeah, there we go. Right, lovely. Sorry, I'm covering up the Rodo thing. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to do hard. this without... Uh, that then. There we go, right. So, can you bring in? We need to see the Rodo first of all. Now, you can just you can see the Rodo trademark, it's quite small on the originals. There is some fakes out there where it's quite big, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. they do big as well. Look at the catch arrangement as well. There's a typical Rodo one, yeah. Yeah, again, the fake is not quite right. Also, another distinction for these Rodo buckles is the prongs themselves are almost blunt, aren't they? Yeah, yeah they're, they're not blunt. like sharp, are they? Yeah. Can you bring it down a little bit so we can see the pinhead? pinhead. That's it. There we go. See, on the originals, this this dome on the top is really big, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's really it's, big. It's massive compared to a lot of other, man other manufacturers. Right. Yeah. Let's have a look. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of cold in the mouth. Now, you, now you can see the green paint we're talking about. You know, that field yeah. grey green paint, yeah? How um how lovely that is. I mean, it'd be nice if we had a, still originally painted on the front. But, again, this is obviously yeah. very well worn. Yeah. But, yeah, with these, again, just be really careful. So, the main carriage is original. Is the, is, can you get the Magus logo even better, Alex? Can you turn it up? Turn it up like that. There we go. There we know you can see it. Yeah, that's a nice Rodo manufacturing thing. Yeah. Okay, turn it back now. It's fine. Yeah, is is that that man that mark is quite small on the original as well. A lot yeah. of the face is massive. Yeah, it's like it's big, huge ones. Yeah, I mean as we said, the, the pin itself, the big dome on the top, the yeah. prongs. Yeah, are not like really, really sharp. They're sort of almost blunted sort of thing at the end. Yeah. yeah? So, I mean, and that, that green paint as well is nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So it's just a quick video today on, I can put it back down there, Alex, yeah, on how, on, on Rodo buckles, yeah, and how to tell um, original from a fake, yeah. yeah. I mean, but it is one of, them, one of them subjects that if you are, uh, John, if you are thinking about collecting Rodo buckles or any other SS buckles that I would, I would, uh, do plenty of research. There's plenty of re there's plenty of materials available, isn't there? Yeah. On the internet about it all. It's just one of them. It's one of them things now that S anything SS 
It's so fake. It's unbelievable. Isn't I know, it? yeah. There's a lot of money involved in these things because rodeo buckles are quite collectible. Um, people have really gone into faking them, haven't they, unfortunately? Yeah, they have. Anyway, yeah, that, that's today's video. Hope you like the video, John. We've done it for you. Hope, hope you appreciate we've done that and do you enjoy the content. Yeah. yeah. We'll always try and do it. So if you ask, if anybody wants to ask us for anything like this, we'll, we'll try and we'll try and do it if we can, won't we? Yeah. I wish we had more SS belt bugs so we could do like a big video for you, but unfortunately, this is all we've got, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that's it for today. Anything, anything you'd like to say, Alex? Yep. Before you go, remember to like, subscribe, and if you want to get anything closer from our collection, comment down below. We'll have a look. Okay, thank you very much. Bye. Bye.